Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Today we are doing something I am very excited about because I love doing subscription unboxings and this particular one happens to be my new favorite one to do. This is of course the Ipsy versus Ipsy with my mother versus my own Ipsy. This is the normal bag because surprise, we have two Ipsy unboxings for you this month. The second one will be the Ipsy Plus and uh, my mom and I both got that as well. So once again, it's Ipsy versus Ipsy, my mom's versus my own, but with the Glam Bag Plus. This is just the normal Glam Bag today because we both kept our original subscriptions and added on the Glam Bag Plus as well. As you guys know, I talked a lot about the changes that Ipsy and BoxyCharm made in the last month. This is when we decided to upgrade to the Glam, Glam Bag Plus. They have introduced the Glam Bag Ultimate as well. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube saying that they're not sure it's worth keeping. So right now I'm pretty happy with the fact that we decided to do the small and the medium sized one and not yet go into the ultimate, but we'll see as it continues if it gets better or if people do like it. They have changed their packaging. Personally, I like the old one better. My mother is a fan of the newer one. It does not surprise me because my mom is more of like a neutral, more muted shade. So the light pink with the pretty letters on it makes sense. I like bold metallic dark pink. That was just, I was a fan of that. I was used to it. I don't like change. So that was a lot for me, but they did change the packaging. Um, this is my mother's. As you can tell, it has been opened because she likes to open hers and this is mine. Um, I find it interesting that, uh, they're on opposite sides. Like, I guess they have the Ipsy printed on both sides and then just wherever they put the packaging labels where they put the packaging label. But I thought that was a little interesting. But anyway, without further ado, we're gonna jump into my mother's bag first. Um, I will say, I don't know what products I received in either my box or my bag. I don't know what my mother received either. She did take a look at hers, um, but mine came first and they've been sitting waiting for hers to show up and hers finally showed up today. I know that the theme this month is Betty Boop and I am very excited about that. I keep Betty Boop with me on my desk at all times. I have a couple Betty Boop makeup bags. I have a lot of Betty Boop like dolls and stuff like that. My Nana was a really big fan of Betty Boop. That's my mom's mom. So she was as excited as I was about the theme. And she said like, I was not in the room when she opened hers up because I brought them to her, but she was just like, oh my God, the bag is so cute. So I'm very excited to see what it looks like. I don't know, but I have an idea and oh, it is, it's precious. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. It is so cute. I love Betty Boop. And the back is like all glittery and the little handle is like a bee. Oh my gosh, yeah, I absolutely love the bag. No matter what, I would say for me personally, the bag is worth the $12 that was spent on this subscription because I, I love Betty Boop that much. So this is my mother, so this is not mine. She got some like big thick stuff in here. Okay, so, I don't know what this is, but it's really cool. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so I've never heard of this brand. Butanique is what I think it is. Uh, beauty and this is a lip cheek pomade so you can use it for either lip color or cheek color it is a very pretty shade like a nice peachy corally shade which is really what I go for in blushes I'm not a huge fan of like pink pinks I like more of those kind of orangey fall tinted ones and this is what that feels like so for my mom I'm not sure if she will use it a ton if she does she'll probably use it as like um, a lip color is what I'm thinking but overall, um, I, I like that one a lot. So I'm gonna pull out her. They shoved her little card into the bag this time. Next thing she got is their Real Benefit Mascara. I think I've received this one pretty recently or I received the roller one. Maybe I received the roller one, but this is actually one of my favorite mascaras on the market. I really like the brush that comes with it. It's one of those nice like prickly ones, spickly ones with like a little ball at the top to kind of get onto your lower lashes. And I personally think it's one of the best in terms of separating your lashes. So this is a good one. I know she will like that a lot just because uh, it's, it's really hard to beat like a nice solid mascara. Next thing she got is a perfume looks like it is Comptoir Sud Pacifique Vanilla Apricot. That does not sound like an appealing fragrance to me, but I'm not a big vanilla fan, but um, we'll see. Pretty decent size in terms of like a sample. Sometimes they give you like the little tiny ones, but this just seems pretty nice and I'm not a fan of that. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think that's my mom's style either. So that's kind of a miss for, I would say both of us. It's very sweet. It is, oh God, it's so pungent. Oh my God. Ugh, it's even making my wine smell bad. Oh God, that's bad. Oh, cool. Okay, so she also got a Marc Anthony Grow Strong Strengthening Leave-In Conditioner in a 
very generous size. That is a nice size sample size. I've become a huge fan of leave-in conditioners lately. She actually has also become a fan of them. She's purchased a couple. She just bought one from uh, Living Proof. Just based on the size of this alone, I would say this is a pretty generous sample size, like I said. So hopefully that's like a nice one. I know Mark Anthony is a nice brand in terms of hairstyling stuff. And then her final thing is she got a Betty Boop times Ipsy lipstick. It is adorable if you can see the packaging. It's like got the little Betty Boop lip on it. It's black with red. I love it. I love the packaging. And it's a good color for my mom. Um, I was worried it was gonna be really red. It's a little darker than what she would normally do, but that's still like a nice muted color. If she's gonna wear a darker lip shade, this is about as dark as she's gonna go. Overall, aside from this very, very pungent perfume. Um, I really like her bag. I think it's a decent bag. Like I said, it's um, well worth the $12 just based on the Betty Boot face alone. Combined with the four products that are not the um, very abrasive scented perfume, I'm happy with it. So decent brag, but if as long as I don't have that perfume, my bag overall may win this this time. So that might be a change up. So I'm going to leave hers sitting right there and I'm going to go ahead and dig into mine. I have not opened mine at all, but of course I got the same adorable little bag. I'm so excited for this bag. I really am like very, very pumped for this little bag. Go ahead and pull my card out. It's sitting right there. And the, oh, cool. Okay, the first thing, I recognize the bottle immediately. It is Belief, Believe in Truth, the True Cream Aqua Bomb. And it is from Philosophy. I am a huge fan of Philosophy. I like their skincare. I like their bath stuff. I, uh, I'm excited for this one. It smells really, really good. And it's a pretty good size. I mean, of course, these little bottles are misleading because they have the false bottom, so there's not a ton in there, but this cream is like, for me personally, I'm only going to use a little bit of it because my, my skin gets oily naturally, and this is a hydrating cream, so um, that's probably a good several uses for me, but yeah, I'm excited for that one. All right, moving right along. I got a brush! I got a brush! Ha ha! I got a brush this time and my mother did not. Although I'm pretty sure she looked at her spoilers and saw that she got a brush shut in her glam bag plus. We'll see that next episode. I am very excited. I know my mom complains about the brushes she gets, but I like getting brushes and this is a nice blending brush. It is the Betty Boop collection that they have done. So you get the pretty little Betty Boop stuff and then it's like this really nice black color. I love black, I love red. The brush itself feels nice and it's a really nice tapered blending brush with like a nice heavy handle. So I'm very excited for this. Yeah, so I got a brush and my mother didn't. So there we go. Hmm, okay, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this brand, I don't know what this brand is either. Uh, Lenny, maybe? And then there's just like some hieroglyphics up there. I don't know. But uh, it looks like it is a loose powder, like a gold shimmer loose powder shade. I'm guessing it's probably an eye shade, but it may be a highlighter. So I'm gonna actually refer to my little cheat sheet to give an idea of what it is. It is a shadow, okay. So this is a loose pigment shadow. Yeah, and honestly, the, the one that they show here is like a gold, like a really dark red color, pinky color, which I would have been fine with. But this is like this kind of rose gold shade and I really am a fan of this. I think it's gonna be a really good one, especially around the holidays. And it's, it's a really big size in terms of like a loose shadow. So I'm excited about that one as well. Oh, cool. Next thing I got is a Camelina and Strobe Luminizing Primer. It's giant. Oh my gosh, it's huge. So this is the box that came in. I thought it was gonna have like a false bottom. Nope, not really. It's like, it's a big size primer. So sweet. That is like a really nice one, especially to bring on vacation. I know it's gonna last me the whole time. Yeah, and it's luminizing, which I always like, especially during the winter season, uh, where I'm trying to kind of give myself a little bit of a natural glow, even though I'm not getting as much sun as I would during the summertime. So I'm really excited to test this one out. Um, I got one more product. It is a context matte lipstick and it's also a really nice size. Oh my gosh. So that's the size of that. It's about the same size as my mom's Betty Boop one. Honestly, I'm not sure. Um, I like the shade, but my mother, I'm, I may see if she wants to trade with me because this is definitely more along her lines, more of a nude color. And hers is just a tiny bit darker than what she would normally go with. Both are really pretty shades though. Okay. So if I had to choose whichever bag came fully assembled, this time I am choosing my own bag. I really liked all the products that I got in it. I think I got a really good variety and also a good quality of makeup and products. Um, my mom had decent stuff, but that vanilla perfume really like was very off-putting for me. So that being said, let me go through and let me tell you if I assembled my perfect kit, what I would put in each one. I'm gonna go ahead and choose my Betty Boop blending brush. I'm going to choose my loose eyeshadow. I'm going to choose my illuminating 
primer. I'm going to choose my Mother's Betty Boop lip color because I do like that darker shade just a little bit better than I like my own neutral shade. And I'm going to choose her Beautynique Beauty Buttercream and Cheek Balm in Peach Blush. Two came from my mother's, three came from mine. So this month my bag did win. I'm very excited about the Ipsy changes. Boxy Charm, if you guys saw my review on the Boxy Charm this month, I was highly disappointed. I did receive a broken product. I'm not sure it's broken enough for them to replace it, which is kind of a terrible feeling because if it's broken at all, you should feel like they're going to be willing to work with you. But I honestly don't know if they will be. And uh, I don't like that. Uh, also my box, which was supposed to be $125 value was $103 value. So BoxyCharm was highly disappointing for me. The new changes with Ipsy, I really am liking. I haven't checked the Glam Bag Pluses yet. We're gonna do that video right after we finish filming this one, but I'm very pleasantly surprised with the direction Ipsy is going, which I did not think I would have said probably six months ago. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, this was a very fun one for me. It's kind of like opening my own birthday present or Christmas present that I don't know uh, what I'm getting, but I was very happy with what I received and um, I like what my mom received too, M minus that very bad smelling perfume, which I'm going to talk about this whole video because it was, it's, I still smell it. It's like hurt me as a person. Anyway, if you guys liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our page already, please do so. I'm sure by this point we've hit hundred subscribers, which means that our giveaway is live. So go find that video, figure out how you have to enter and then uh, make sure you do so as well, because I have a really good little culmination of products that I've handpicked for you guys to give away as a thank you for supporting us this far. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.